Hi, I'm Cypher and welcome back to yet another video. What you see here is a Bluetooth controller, simple and it's kind of boring. So in today's video, I want to build my own version. And the question is, can I make the better version of this or not? So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Brilliant, more about them later on the video. In this project I decided to use Seed Studio GIO NR5284 Zero board because a lot of features that I need are built in into this board, for example Bluetooth and gyroscope. In order to make a controller we need different components, so first I used a joystick module and also some micro switches. In this way I can receive several different data from the joystick, for example front, back, left and right. Also we now have 3 micro switches that will do different things for us in the future. I said 3 because the joystick also has a micro switch. In the next section we will use the internal LSM60S3 of the microcontroller to provide us the data related to roll, pitch and yaw. Now that we obtained all this data, how to send them? Because we decide to make a wireless controller from the beginning. With the help of the NR5284 Zero board, which provides Bluetooth connectivity, this problem is also solved. We just need to use two GL boards to exchange data between them. So what should our controller look like? After looking around in Thingiverse for ideas, I came across an interesting model and I decided to change it in a way that I would like. And finally, I came to this final design. In this part, it's time to start printing the body of the device and also collect the parts we need. This device consists of four sections. Two of these sections are for the main body, while one section is dedicated to the placement of the joystick and other components. The final part is the LED cover which I will talk about it later. The joystick and micro switches will be placed in this part of the controller's body. After it finished printing, I placed the joystick and micro switches in the proper section. Now it's time to assemble the rest of the controller. Because I wanted to always have access to the main board, so I made a suitable space for it so that I can separate it from the controller at any time. After installing all the parts, there was enough room for wiring and also enough to add functionality to the controller if I decided in future. Fortunately, this board has HID capability like the Arduino Micro for example, which means we can directly control the mouse and keyboard by commanding the microcontroller. For example, now I'm controlling the mouse with the help of gyro data. The presence of all these functions internally in this board makes the work much easier. Now let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, Brilliant. Learning always has its own difficulties, but in the end you gain knowledge and it is worth it. I want to introduce you to an interesting platform to make this process easier for you. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to AI, programming, science, engineering and more, with new lessons added monthly. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. Brilliant helps keep your programming skills sharp, while letting you dive deeper into advanced topics to expand your understanding and give you an edge in your career. Each course is designed for high-velocity learning, to help you stay focused and reach your goals fast. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash cyphertech or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now let's get back to our project. I use a lithium battery to power the board. 
although it is not permanently connected to the circuit and I used connectors so that I can use the battery whenever needed. Now it's time to install no pixels. A suitable space for them inside the body has been considered to finally give us an attractive light effect. At first I used this cover printed with white filament to cover the no pixels, but I had a better idea so I edited this part of the body and came to this final result. What do you think, which one is better? I choose a game to try it, but it didn't go very well. But after all, this gadget will go with the rest of the family to become another one of our memories. But who knows, maybe we use it in another video. Also you can find all the code, schematic and information about this project and my other projects in my website cyphertech.net and my github. And that's it for today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video and I see you guys in the next video, take care.